Hi Jane. Hi. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. Wonderful. My name is Dr. Mad. I'm going to do your physical assessment. So I see here that you're a first time patient. Great. When was your last um, physical? A year ago. A year ago. Okay, perfect. So insurance wise, you are in perfect timing. Can I please verify your date of birth? Yes, sure. It's 4th of June, 1989. Perfect. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to verify some of your medical history. I was able to get some information from your previous doctor, but let's go ahead and go over it. Is that okay? Of course. Great. Do you have any allergies? No. Perfect. And in regards to your medical history, do you still have hypertension? I still do, yeah. Okay. And I see here that you are on metoprolol, 25 milligrams once a day? Yes. Okay. Okay. And do you have any thyroid problems? No. Perfect. Okay. Any breathing disorders such as cell asthma, COPD, any history of pneumonia? No. Any, any history of kidney disorders? No. Great. Okay. Do you, are you experiencing any depression, anxiety, or insomnia? No. Okay. And any previous hospitalizations that I should be aware of? Any injuries in the last 12 months? No. Okay. Perfect. Well, you are definitely the perfect patient. And I do appreciate that. This is going to go very smooth. Okay. Are you taking any medications on a daily basis besides the metal ball? No. Perfect. Okay. All right. I think I have all the information necessary. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, put some gloves on and take your vital signs. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Are you experiencing any tingling sensations in your fingers or your toes? Sometimes. Okay. And um, when did it first start? Um, a couple of months ago. Okay. Um, is it constant or it comes and goes? No, mostly in the evenings. Okay. Any headaches? No. Okay. Any chest pain or palpitations? No. Any flu like symptoms in the last two weeks? No. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take your oxygenation. This will go on your index finger. Okay. So go ahead and relax. Take a deep breath in. Wonderful. Your heart rate is 88 and your oxygenation is 99% on room air. And I'll also take your temperature. This will go underneath your tongue. Go ahead and hold it. Perfect. Great. Okay, so that is 36.2 in Celsius, which I believe is perfectly normal. Perfect. Okay, Jane, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your lungs and your heart. Is it okay if I put the stethoscope underneath your, your shirt on the chest? Okay. Go ahead and relax. You can breathe normal. I 
I'm just moving the stethoscope a little bit to the right. Make sure that I get all the points. Okay, so, so far I'm hearing very normal rhythm. Only S1 and S2, no S3, no S4. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and listen with a bell. I'm looking for murmurs, which would indicate a valve abnormality. Okay, wonderful. So no signs of any murmurs. Now I'm going to listen to your lungs. Can you please take a deep breath in every time I touch you with a stethoscope? Of course, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and breathe out. Good, and on the other side. Perfect. And is it okay if I listen to your lungs in the back as well? Of course, yes. Okay, go ahead and relax. Take a deep breath in and out. And again, take a deep breath in and out. Good. Take a deep breath in and out. Perfect. Take a deep breath in and out. And one last time when listening to the base of the lungs. Good. So I'm not hearing any infiltrates, no sign of uh, crackles, ronchi, or wheezing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gently tap on your back. Let me know if you feel any kind of pain. Okay. Is it okay if I take the headband down and examine your scalp and your head? Okay, of course. So go ahead and do for me please. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gently palpate your head. I'm looking for any lumps, any deformities. Go ahead and relax. Any pain behind your ears? No. Good. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check your scalp for any parasite infestation. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So far, I'm not noticing anything abnormal. The hair follicle looks very healthy. No signs of any parasite infestation. Perfect. Are you experiencing any pain around your face? No. Great. So what I will do is I'll gently palpate your face. Let me know if you feel anything. Sinuses above the eyebrows are not inflamed. Also, underneath the eyes. I'll gently tap on your face. Okay. 
Can you please relax your jaw? Open your jaw just slightly like this. Perfect. Good. Go ahead and close. I'm feeling for any lymph node enlargement. Tricky okay. Smith line. Can you please follow? Wonderful. Okay, so thyroid gland is normal size. I'm not feeling any lumps. And also, I'll be checking right above the clavicle for any lymph node enlargement. Perfect. Okay. And now I'll do a neurological assessment of your face. I'm going to ask you to clench your jaw for me, please. Perfect. And open. Good. Open a little bit more. Okay. Now close. Great. And can you please smile? Good. And now frown. And puff your cheeks. Keep them puffed for me, please. Okay. Go ahead and open your eyes as wide as you can. Good. And now lift your eyebrows up for me, please. I'm going to try to push them down. Don't let me do that. Perfect. Relax. And can you please close your eyes? I'm going to try to open them. Don't let me do that. Good. Perfect. I'm going to do a test, it's called Sharp or Dull. Okay, this test is called Sharp or Dull. Can you please put your palm up for me? So this is dull and this is what sharp will feel like. Now, can you please close your eyes and tell me if it feels sharp or dull? Go ahead and relax your hand. Dull. Good. Dull. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Wonderful. Perfect. Okay. Next, I will be checking your eyes and your pupils. Can you please look at my nose? looking at my nose. One more time. Good. Good. And now I'll be checking your ocular nerve. Can you please look behind me straight at the wall? Go ahead and look that way. Perfect. And I'll come very close to you and examine your eye. Try to not blink as, um, as much as possible. Okay, optic disc is intact on the right side. I'll be doing the same thing on the left side. Okay, so go ahead, look behind me. Good. Optic nerve is intact in the left eye as well. I'll be doing some peripheral vision tests now. Can you please cover one eye for me? Okay, perfect. And look straight at me. That's good. Can you please tell me when you see my fingers in your field of vision? Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do something on the other side. Yes. Follow my finger with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Good. Okay. Can you please look behind at the wall. And now look at my fingers. Good. And look behind at the wall. And now look at my fingers. Look behind at the wall. Now look at my fingers. Good. Alright, 
Next, can you please tell me which fingers are moving, right or left? Right. Good. Left. Good. Right and left. Good. Left. Good. Right. Right. Good. Left. Perfect. Okay. For this, we're going to use the snail and chart. Are you wearing any contacts right now? No. Okay. And do you normally wear glasses? Yes. Okay. Um, I would normally have you wear the glasses, but since you don't have them with you, we're just going to work with what we have. Um, in that case, can you please cover one eye? Perfect. And with your opposite hand, can you hold the snail and chart? And just extend your arm as much as you can. Perfect. Like that. Great. And can you please tell me what letter this is? L. Good. And can you please read the entire row? L, T, F, P, H. Perfect. Can you please tell me what color this is? Red. And what color is this? Green. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch eyes. Can you please tell me what letter this is? H. And can you read the last row starting with the letter H? H, P, F, T, L. Right. And can you please tell me what color this is? Red. Is this the same amount of red that you saw with your left eye? Yes. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and check your ears next. Any discharge, any abnormal abnormality in hearing? No. Great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to palpate your ears, make sure that I'm not feeling any lumps, and then I'll be taking a look inside your ear canal. Okay, go ahead and relax. In there. Okay. Can you please look that way for me? Good. Okay. The burning membrane is pearl gray. I'm not noticing any signs of infection, no purulence. And I'll be doing the same thing on the other side. Margins are very well defined. The budding membrane is intact. No signs of infection. Excellent. One last thing. I'm going to gently palpate behind your ears. Any pain there? No. Okay. Okay, I will be doing a tuning fork test next and that allows me to estimate if you're experiencing any hearing loss. So for the first test, I will put the tuning fork behind each ear and I'm going to ask you to tell me when you don't hear the sound anymore. Can't hear it anymore. Good. Okay. Same thing on the other side. I can't hear it anymore. Perfect. So I would say that um, the estimated time was similar in both the ears. Next, I'll be doing kind of the same thing, but I'll put it in two positions, and I'm going to ask you to identify which position here is louder for you. position number one and this is position number two. Was one in particular louder than the other? Position number two would be louder, yeah. Okay, good. This is position number one and this is position number two. Which one was louder? 
It would be position number two that was louder. Okay. All right, everything looks good. Uh, one last thing. Can you please close your eyes? And tell me with which ear you hear the sound. Left. Right. Left and right. Perfect. Okay, Jane. Have you noticed any abnormalities in your sense of smell or your taste? No. Okay. Okay, so far. Now, I'm going to also check for gut reflex. Good. Can you please give me a big ah? Uh huh. Very good. Okay, go ahead and open. More? Okay. So, has anybody told you that you have tonsil stones? No. Okay. Um, the tonsil stones are some um, white patches that you can see on your tonsils. And since you're not experiencing any fever, any flu like symptoms, I don't think it's strep. Um, but it's um, usually tonsil stones are harmless. Uh, sometimes they do hurt, but since you're not experiencing any symptoms, I would not worry about them. But I did definitely see them. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and check your sense of taste first. So I will be giving you just two samples. And I'll put this on your tongue. Can you please describe the taste and then try to identify it? It's sweet. I believe it might be vanilla. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and just choose one more. I believe it might be cinnamon. It feels a little bit spicy. Spicy. Excellent. And let's go ahead and check your nose. Can you please look up for me? Good. Look up. Good. So nasal mucosa is pink and moist. I did not see any obstructions. Can you please breathe in, breathe out through your nose? Good. Same thing. Breathe in, breathe out through your nose. Okay, so both nares are painted. I'm going to give you a few smells. I'm going to close one there. Can you please identify the smell? This is orange. Perfect. It is orange peel. Okay. Okay. Can you identify that smell? Cinnamon. Perfect. Okay, and I have one more. was a little bit too strong, I apologize. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is so I'm going to check your neurological responses. So I'm going to use the, the hammer to try to elicit some of the, the nerve responses. Go ahead and relax for me. Can you please uncross your legs? Perfect. Okay. Good. And just put your arms like this. Great. Good. 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 And on your knees. Good. Good. Wonderful, Jane. So far, everything looks very good. I'm going to go ahead and check your arms. Is that okay? So go ahead and put your arms like this for me. Good. I'm not noticing any edema. Okay. No palmar or edema either. Okay. Go ahead and relax. I'm just gonna go ahead and check your pulse. And on the other side. Good. And capillary refill is within two seconds which is perfect 
Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, wonderful. Are you experiencing any pain around your belly? No. Okay, is it okay if I listen to your belly? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and put your arms like this. And is it okay if I put uh, your hair a little bit in the back? Yeah. Great. Relax. I'm just going to listen to your belly. Good. Good. Okay, wonderful. Okay, all sounds are heard in all four quadrants. Is it okay if I gently palpate your abdomen? Of course. Let me know if you feel any kind of pain. I'm not feeling any enlargement of the organs, no masses. No pain, no tenderness. Wonderful, so everything looks very good. I'm not concerned at all. Do you have any questions for me? No, just thank you so much for today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for allowing me to do this exam on you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Well, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you.